though, to get to where all commodities are traded, that's Chicago. We begin with the protesters at the gates. Police now at this hour working to figure out what to do if what happened in Chicago today flares up again. Fifteen arrested outside the Chicago Mercantile Exchange over just the last two hours. This crowd on your screen here began forming and then circling the CME where everything from soybean futures to derivatives are traded. The crowds demand a tax on traders on traders to finance the yawning shortfall in Illinois' ability to pay its bills. Emotions running very high, Jeff Flock rushed to the scene as soon as the news began breaking. He's live outside the CME where the crowds have thinned, but the story is still strong, Jeff. We knew this was going to happen, Liz. We knew a protest was going to happen, but no idea it was going to be as big as it was here at the historic Chicago Board of Trade building. Uh, indeed, that's what they won, and that's why we asked Scott Shelley to come over here with us. Uh, they say a tax on the trades here, a minimal tax, a nickel. What's that going to hurt you? I'll be the protester. You be the... You be the one percent. Tell me why that would hurt you. Well, if your exchange fees are four cents today and you want to make them nine cents, I mean, do the math on that percentage increase. Number one, number two, it's nickels and dimes. That's a nickel and a couple of dimes. But it's a look at the percentage increase. I mean, we talk about the percentage increase in oil when it's down at forty dollars a barrel and, and not when it's up at a hundred. I'll force you out of business. You know what? This exchange is almost 100% electronic. It could be plug and play and be gone tomorrow. It's all it is is about loading software up on on buses and 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 big trucks and moving it someplace else. But why? Let me ask you this. Why are you asking the traders to pay for f decades of Democratic legislature mismanagement? Why is it our fault? Totally so, true. So, so they, they run the state into the ground and you want to come to us to get value out? But here's the, we're in a hole. we got to get it somewhere. And you don't pay any other taxes, right? The exchange pays a ton of tax. The exchange pays a ton of tax. Uh, the exchange, number one, pays a ton of tax. Number two, I, as a trader, because I take risk, I pay capital gains tax. pay capital gains, but you don't pay a, a specific tax on each trade that you do. No, because like if I, money, if, I, make, if you don't make money, you don't pay tax. If I bought something at a store at Ann Taylor across the street there, I would have to pay tax on it. You're making a trade. You're buying something. Shouldn't you have to pay a small tax? So the lovely suit that you have on, after it went down in price after you bought it, would you have to pay tax on the cheaper suit today? No, you wouldn't. So you're buying something and consuming it. We're going in and out of the market providing liquidity. That's taking that risk. Tax. Taking the risk, providing liquidity. That's what you don't want to tax people that are taking a risk, providing liquidity. You agree we've got a serious budget shortfall in Illinois, and you live in Illinois. No, I don't. That's right. You moved to Indiana, didn't because you? Because of a serious problem in Illinois. Right. So I voted with my feet, number one. Number two, decades of Democratic mismanagement, as far as the legislature goes, it has to stop somewhere. And that's why we've got this problem between a Republican governor and a Democratic state. How are we going to straighten this out? There's no easy answer. It would have been done four or five months ago. See, we still don't have a budget. Okay. So maybe we should track you guys. Well, I mean, that's going to be the easy answer. But ultimately, at some point in time, the buck's got to stop, stop somewhere. Governor Rob is trying to do that. And a big corporation could be the ugly thing that people go after. But at the end of the day, it's the people that they kept putting in office for decades that have caused the problem. Be angry. They should, they should be protesting in Springfield. And I, don't, I think both sides would agree on that point. Scott Shelley, appreciate it. Uh, uh, Liz, it was an extraordinary day. I'll tell you, uh, you know, we didn't expect this was going to happen. Uh, the, the frustration is boiling over here in Illinois. And I don't know where it goes from here. We're hearing about another protest right here again in December. We'll see if that comes off and we'll continue to watch it.